So if you're like me and you film horizontal videos and you want to make it into a vertical video because you want to make a short, a TikTok, or any other vertical format, you might run into some issues because you're like, hey, I'm not sure where those icons that appear in those apps, where they might appear on the screen. Well, Real Buddy from our visuals is going to help make that a whole lot easier for you. It works out real well. Not a sponsor video here. This is just a tool that I find really helpful that I think you guys might find helpful too. So uh, let's just go jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you how it all works. It's really cool. You got to check this out. So let's talk about getting the real buddy installed in DaVinci Resolve because it's going to be built right into Resolve, makes it real easy to use. So you're going to jump over to the RVisual website. You can go ahead and check out some of the other products that they've got here. And plugins is where we can find the real buddy. So you can go ahead and make a purchase there. Then you're going to be able to download the product. And once you download it, you're going to get a little file that looks like a zip file. And all you have to do to get started here is double click on the real buddy zip file. Your computer is going to go ahead and unzip that for you. Then you're going to get this file right here, rvisual.store real buddy drfx. And it's super easy to install. All you have to do is just double click it. It's going to open up DaVinci Resolve and it's going to install it for you. So once Resolve automatically opens, you're going to see this. You go ahead and hit install. It doesn't take more than a few seconds to install. I'm going to create a new project here. Once I've got my new project set up here, I'm in the edit tab. I'm going to bring in the footage that you just saw in the beginning of this video, drop it into my media pool. And now I need to create a timeline. So I could just drag and drop this down into the timeline, but then we're going to get a horizontal timeline and we want to use a vertical timeline. So I'm just going to right click on the timeline that got created there. We're going to go timelines, timeline settings. When our timeline settings come up, I'm going to uncheck use project settings. And then I want to check on use vertical resolution. And that's all I have to do here. I can click OK. And boom, now we have our vertical resolution. So let's talk about the real buddy and how do we apply it onto our clip to make our job of making vertical videos a whole lot easier. A few ways that you can add it onto a clip or into your timeline. So the first thing I want to do is open up my effects library. I want to come to effects and if you click on your little drop down here, you should see our visual store and we have a effect right here, the real buddy. So I can click hold and drag and drop this onto a clip. And now every clip that I want to use it on, I'll have to drop it on there, but there's an easier way to do it. So if you have one long clip like I do here, no problem. I can just drop it on there and you see we get the screen and the layout of, in this case, TikTok, right? We can see where all the icons are, where the titles are to make sure that our video is in a good spot in that vertical video. So we could do it that way, but let's say that you have a bunch of clips that are all cut up, right? So I'm gonna undo that and get rid of it. Let's make a couple cuts here. And I don't wanna have to apply that effect onto all those clips and make adjustments. I don't wanna do that. So the other option is that you can take this effect and put it on an adjustment layer, but to take that step out of the process, right? Cause that's like a, a few step thing, add the adjustment layer, add the effect. You could just come to generators. Again, click your little drop down here. You're going to see our visual store. And I can just drag this down into my timeline. It's going to make a new track. And then I just want to extend this out as far as you need to. Now, it may look a little weird there. So if it does, you could just click on it, open up your inspector, and hit the reset button right here. And that's going to just put it back to how it should be. All right? I don't know why it gets a little weird like that sometimes, but Hey, it happens. So let's run through this tool and just see the options that you have available to you while you're working with your vertical video. So if I come to my inspector, you're going to see under the generator tab, we have all of the controls for the real buddy right here where it says real buddy. And this check mark, if we click on here, there's several different options. There's an option that's going to show us no icons on there. There's an option that's not going to blur the boundaries for us. There's also an option that's going to show all of the icons, the titles, the descriptions, all of that. So when you put on your subtitles or have text pop up or things happen on the screen for your vertical video, you won't worry about these things getting in the way. You don't have to guess because they're right here. Now, let's say maybe I'm not doing a TikTok. Let's say I'm doing a YouTube short. If I come down to guides, I can click on here and you've got Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and it's going to put all those icons right on the screen where they would appear after you upload your video. You've got some other cool tools like the safe area where you can make sure your video is in there so nothing will get out of whack or get cut off. You've got a frame here, opacity that you can add. And if the icons and stuff are getting in your way a little bit, you can reduce the opacity of those as well, just so you have a little bit more uh, visual clarity of what's going on on the screen. Under transform here, we can easily change the size of our video if we need to. 
move it around. You can change it however you'd like. Under frame here, you can change it from one to one to 16 by nine, or use a custom shape that you might wanna choose. And you've got options for custom width, height, and corner radius. For example, if I have the one to one, and I bring up the corner radius a little bit there, you can see it rounds out the corners on my video. Pretty cool. And to reset any of these, you can just double click them. And we also have effects down here. You've got some different effects like a vignette strength. You can see it'll add a vignette to my video. Your background blur, how much do you wanna blur that? As well as your background size. Maybe you wanna zoom in or out of the video that's in the background there. You can do it real quick with that. As well as the background opacity. You can change that if you want. You wanna see it more or less. Reduce the brightness of it a little bit. Works really easy to do that. And again, to reset any of these, just double click them and it's gonna automatically reset it for you. You've also got content type up here, which I forgot to mention, you can change it to a story or back to a reel. So for example, if I had it on Instagram and I went to an Instagram story, that's what's gonna look like. It just makes it really quick and easy just to get the layout that you need for any one of the vertical video formats. So that way you're not overlapping stuff, putting things behind icons that are gonna be in the app when you upload your video. So once you've gone ahead and you created the video, it looks the way that you want it to look, you're happy with it. You don't actually wanna export out all of the overlay on the screen here, right? So for example, the YouTube, I don't wanna export out the icons and all that, right? That's just a template for you to follow to make sure you get your text or whatever it might be in the places that you want. So you would wanna come up here and click on this and toggle this on and off. So that way you only see this when you export your video or the other option you could do is if you want to leave these all on, you can just come to the real buddy opacity, drop that down to zero. And now we can just jump over into our delivered page, go through your custom export settings or whatever export settings you like. I've got a sample here. I'm gonna say use vertical resolution for my 1080 HD video clip. Set everything else the way that you like to render out your videos add it to the render queue. Boom, there you go. You are all set to export out that video. You know you're not gonna have conflicts with any of the on-screen icons for Reels, Shorts, Instagrams, Facebooks, whatever kind of vertical video that you might want. Now I wanna give you guys a couple bonus tips. Check this out. I'm gonna jump back into the edit tab here. Bonus tip number one is if you have studio, don't forget about the smart reframe tool. This is going to take a lot of the reframing and keyframing work that you might need to do in your video clips when you go to a vertical format. It's going to take that work out of there for you. So if I were to select a clip here, make sure your inspector is open. If you have studio, because this is a studio only feature, you got smart reframe. I'm going to choose auto, say reframe. Resolve's going to think, do its thing, and it's going to automatically keep your subject right in the middle of your frame. So that way you don't have to try and move the video around yourself. Resolve's going to do that for you. And if you didn't like the placement of where it puts it, you can always click the little drop down and say reference point, choose your own point that DaVinci Resolve will follow and center in your video. So that's the bonus tip number one. If you've got studio, that's a great tool and it works really well. The second bonus tip is if you wanted to add the words to pop up on the screen, right? Like we see in a lot of short form videos, Resolve can do that real quick and easy for you. Check it out. I'm just gonna come up to timeline and I'm gonna say create subtitles from audio. Now I want the words to kind of pop up one at a time. So I'm gonna drop this back to say, I don't know, 10 characters per line. We're gonna give that a try. Go with the default settings for everything else. I'm gonna say create. Resolve's gonna do a little thinking and then it's gonna automatically put in all those subtitles for us. Now when Resolve puts these in, you can see where they fall, right? Kind of on the lower you know, quarter of the screen there for our vertical video, but is that where I want them? Well, I'm gonna turn the real buddy back on. So select a real buddy, gonna bring up the opacity and you can see, oh, that ain't a good spot, right? That's not gonna work if I'm doing a YouTube short here. So I can adjust my settings for those words to pop up. Really easy, all I have to do is select one of them. Any one of them is fine. And in the inspector, you wanna to come to the track level and now we can make adjustments. Let's say maybe I want you know, a different font. Let's say I like this one. Now I might need to bring it up a little higher, right? Because it's not in a good spot. So I'm gonna come down to transform and bring that up. I'm gonna put it at the top of the screen here. If you like the look of having a little outline around your letters, no problem. We can pick a color here. Let's go with, I don't know, orange looks good for a little Halloween because it's coming up. I'm gonna say outside only and we can bring that up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe you wanna add on a little drop shadow. We're just gonna turn that on. Drop the shadow there a little bit so we can see the words easier. You can even put on a background if you wanted to do that. And now when we play through our video, we got all the words popping up on the screen. You can adjust the text however you want, let it look however you want, but really quick and easy here to get set up with the subtitles, popping them up in Resolve, 
using the real buddy to make sure that my layout of everything is okay really quick and easy so this is a great tool that i found pretty helpful to use while i'm trying to make some vertical videos and make sure i'm not you know putting text or things in areas where there's going to be the description or icons or whatever you know else might be in the way once i upload it to you know youtube shorts for example so again this video is not sponsored i just wanted to share it with you guys because i think it's pretty cool tool it makes my job a lot easier of putting together uh, vertical videos and should make your job a lot easier too and i hope those two bonus tips were helpful there for you so if they were definitely drop me a comment let me know and if you guys have any questions on vertical formats the real buddy our visuals anything else feel free to uh, drop a comment down below and uh, I'm, I'm gonna get back to you i get back to you i do the best i can to get back to you guys that uh, with that said i will see you in the next video peace